Right, welcome. Uh, what we're going to do here is um, show you I bought a box on eBay. Uh, spares will repair one of these. Herba Spasha. Herba Spasha. Now I've fitted a few of these before to motorhomes and what have you, but the more modern hydronic type. This is a really old manual D9. D9 I think it is. This one. Looking at the pump. So the flow goes in there, pressurised into this burner in here and then comes out of there and goes off to a radiator or whatever you're using. Runs on 24 volts and on the top, well not the top, but this side, that's the air inlet and that's the exhaust out and that's fuel pipe in. That should be that should be centered on here. Look, and it's not. So that's no good. Look at that absolutely knackered, burnt. So that should sit round there like that. Look, which then makes a seal here. But there's been no seal. Look, and you can see a little track there. So and it's been quite close to the fuel pipe. Okay, where are we? Back on this. It's come out of the dishwasher, and actually, that's not too bad. It's still black inside, but all the powder and that kind of stuff's gone. You can see the bottom, which is grey aluminium, which is fantastic. So, no problem. <clears throat> that's good. This arrived. Uh, from Germany there we go it was actually if I I could buy these from England actually it was cheaper but when you had the customs charges and all that stuff now it was double the price but anyway got it from somewhere in Germany so let's have a look yeah. So that was the old seal. You can see the difference there. Oh, that's open. Okay. So that was the old seal look because it was half trapped uh, in the burner. Something like. Uh, something like that well that's just ridiculous so it's going to starve it of oxygen because it's halfway across the aperture where the air gets blown in so anyway and then this one had just seen better days anyway so now we've got the new one we can refit it all but before we do that I want to clean the inside of this.
he just saw me reassemble this uh, yesterday evening uh, we need to bench test this now so I'll just run you through uh, what we need we need an exhaust pipe uh, that's air inlet so we could leave that off for now we need a fuel supply in this case it's diesel um, we need a uh, hot water circuit with a radiator or some kind of header tank in there as well and we need 24 volts DC so I just need to I think I've got everything we need I just need to run around and collect everything really all right we've got two uh, decent uh, YU ASA batteries 12 volts each um, I made sure that they're charged got some heater hose here which we can use um, this is the exhaust pipe for it, but I don't think we're going to need that today. I think one of our most difficult tasks is going to be connecting the fuel. So we have a, a fuel pump here. Um, so the, the fuel from your tank goes into this end, comes out of this pipe swirly and then up here and then this goes in into there but somebody's obviously this is salvage so somebody's obviously just chopped that off which is annoying i gotta find some way of connecting that to there right this is the test so i've got two batteries there and uh, I'm going to put a jump lead across those two terminals at the back. It'll give me 24 volts there because they're in series. Then i um, got a bit of diesel in there, road diesel. Pump to there. That's the air intake. So we can leave that for now. Exhaust out. Goes outside. And this is what I've got for water circulation. So the input to the radiator is there. There to the pump is there and the output is this one here and it goes into a little radiator that I've just hung up on the door I've screwed it to the door so it's sturdy really we're ready to go but I'm kind of scared to turn it on really because it's super old I've uh, kind of jerry-rigged all the connections up to what I think is what but I couldn't find a proper wiring diagram so who knows, eh? Who knows? If I hear this clicking and the fans start, that'll be I'll be made up. Got my little, uh, got my little uh, illuminated switch. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is connect the power. Now this could really go one of two ways, really, couldn't it? I don't know. Ready. Hold on. Let's see if we can get that in there. Oh, so far, so good. Nothing. Wait. Pumps on. Got a green light. This is very exciting. Just waiting for the pump to kick in now. We're on. There's no way this is going to work. No way. Oh, fail start. Expected on the first time because the pump needs to be primed. Still better than I thought. No way this is going to work. I might get a lift off, I can smell diesel. It's 
second fail. Go for third ignition. Gone for full shutdown. Simply because it's had three failed starts. But no dramas, just keep doing it. Just while we're here, just measure the temperature. 13 degrees. And 11 ish. And the radiator. 10 degrees, so that gives you an idea. You can hear like a jet engine. She's lit. Yes! I'm so excited. Well, I'll wait till this revs up now. My brother always says there's always something going bang, pop fizzle at my house or smoke coming out somewhere. Not wrong. Got a bit of exhaust leak from there, but, but that's good because I know it's there. Ah, she's running now. 15 degrees. So yeah, I've got a bit of a leak of exhaust there, so it's getting a bit smoky, but that's easy fixed. It smells like old stuff. 22 degrees already. So yeah, definitely heating up there. Brilliant. Really is heating up a lot, very quick. You can hear the can hear it doing its business. Not much smoke, so it's clean burning. Brilliant. This is going to work perfectly for the idea that I've got for it. It's going to be, I'm going to use it as the heat source for my heating to start with so that I can work out um, what temperatures I can get away with in the radiators because uh, I can modulate this temperature to whatever I want. Seventy four degrees there. Man down, man down! That's exactly why I did it here. Right, so what's happening now is the combustion fan is going into overload without putting fuel in to cool it down. Otherwise you'll get an overheat. But, uh, that was always going to happen. This is only a test rig. And what I've done is put masking tape on there just to make it the right size. <laughs> so it's obviously got fed up of that, but we know it works. So I'm going to dismantle all this now once that's shut down. Uh, yeah, that's it. Successful test. A bit at the end there, well, doesn't matter. I have to take it all apart anyway, so it saves me a job. So this is now going to be my heat source for my uh, weird heating system. There we go, took hours to set up, about 10 minutes to cut, take it all back down, anyway. I love it when a plan comes together as they say. So. Uh, yeah, join me on the next one.